Hello, I'm Richard Crawford. I'm a filmmaker, I'm a producer, director, and I produced a motion picture called Captain Milkshake. And it's a movie that was made at a time in the 70s that was a reflection of the period of social change that was going on. It's a full length, dramatic motion picture, shot in technoscope, super wide screen. And when we ran it in Los Angeles, the LA Times reviewer said this is the best film he's ever seen about the period and truly capsulizes that period. <laughs> It was a time of tremendous social upheaval in our country. The Vietnam War was in full swing. It was a civil rights movement that was gaining traction. Uh, Woodstock had gone off in 1969 and brought a lot of attention to the people about the counterculture. When it seems like the whole world is blowing its mind, just when you begin to wonder what it's all about, along comes something wonderful that seems to make a whole lot of sense. Women's liberation, sexual liberation, all these major social changes are going on, and we're just beginning to find out the truth about that war. People are in the streets protesting. Uh, there were soldiers coming back in body bags by the thousands. And I decided that there needed to be a movie that told that story. Melissa the woman. She was into it all. And in its first outings in the South, it played tremendously. We had sold out audiences. Uh, people were coming to see it on a double bill with a Hollywood movie, and they were all coming to see Captain Milkshake. Now, we've all heard stories, horror stories, about independent people or people who have made movies who have lost control of their films one way or the other, that they were stolen from them, or they, they were maneuvered through some legal document to lose their film. Well, this, sadly enough, is a story that happened to me that I didn't expect. Well, it took off and started getting a lot of exposure, and then we got into a legal entanglement in which the investors decided they wanted to take over the film and get more of it for themselves, and in the process, tangled it up so badly I was unable to unwind it. My lawyer said, walk away, you'll never be able to pay enough to straighten this out, and you'll have to let go, and I did. 35 years, I let go of my movie. I couldn't even get a print of it. They were all gone. We didn't have any video copies of it because it didn't exist at that time. I get a call a few years ago from the lawyer who was involved. He said, good news, Richard. Everybody who had a claim to your film have all died. Now, I'm not supposed to be happy about that, but hey, I got my movie back, and now I want to show it to the world. It's a film that is much more real, much more present, much more alive. Than many films that I saw that, that were just made half a year ago. I thought it was wonderful. I mean, obviously, I'm too young to have lived through that, but it meant a lot to me getting a glimpse of what that must have been like for people and how they reacted. It captured the period. It was, in a way, it was kind of satirical and hilarious. It was kind of a send up in a way, but it was so real. I mean, it really brought me back. I think it definitely is deserving of wide release and it's certainly timely. It's got a, an innocent charm about it that I think is timeless. It really brought me back to that time period. It was amazing how realistic it was. I'd give it a five star. It was a great deal of fun. I thought the movie was just outrageous. So many people got to see it, thousands that saw it in its first release, that they've been asking about that movie. All the underground magazines hear about this counterculture movie that disappeared. Well, when I got it back, I showed it in Los Angeles. It was picked up by the Viennale International Film Festival special guest screening. 700 seat theaters sold out, people loved it. They went on to Rotterdam, same thing, sold out crowds. So there's life for this motion picture. I see that the audience is still curious about the Vietnam War era. They want to know what really happened. We've got Austin Powers version and not much else. So the young people want to see it. The older people that were there bring their grandchildren to show them the period they're in. So right now, I'd like to ask your help. I want to bring the movie out and make it available to the world. I have to have it digitally remastered from the 35 millimeter original negatives, which I just got. So I'm looking for some support in getting this film out to the world, getting out to the public so you can see it, so everyone can see it. People around the world would love to see this motion picture. It's never been shown in the United States outside of a few limited screenings. So I'm asking you, would you join me? Help me get my film back out to the world. I'm looking for small donations up to large donations. And for that, I'm going to have all kinds of wonderful gifts from t-shirts and copies of the movie. If you give a high contribution, I'm going to give you multiple copies of the movie. Put your name on the film as one of our contributors. So 
Thank you very much for your attention and look for Captain Milkshake. And when it comes to your town, if you're one of our people who had gifted us with some money, we're going to have you as special guests to come to the theater to be able to see the movie. And we'll have parties and good times and lots of fun. We bring back the spirit of the 60s and 70s. Thank you very much.